now I've been a girl who has been all her life. She was, uh, my grandmother was very harsh. She used to beat me so much. And now I'm, I'm just out there. I've oh, wow. fini- yes, I've finished uh, uh, school. And then my friends are two years earlier. You know, for them, they have experience of the world. So that's why I started drinking, loving, and I started meeting married men. Mm-hmm. That's how life started. And um, at, uh, uh, on 2014, I got pregnant by a married man. I got my baby on November, October, I mean. And then on December, the wife knew, so this guy had to leave me. Okay, so... She found out. She found out. Yeah, she found out that um, we had an affair. So How did she find out? A friend of mine, a friend of mine gave her photos of my kid. And then when their husband went home and then he was asked, this is your kid? And he, he said yes. Actually, he didn't deny But now the problem was, Joy, how did my wife got photos? Yeah. I mean, she believed that, uh, he believed that I'm the one who has sent the photos to the wife. To break his marriage. Yeah. Okay. So that's how I was left. And um, I started doing something called, um, you know, errands where you go, you do such, you know, those jobs. Around 2017, I got a job in one of the companies in Westlands. And um, the same, same friend mm-hmm. set me up. From 2014, I've not seen my baby daddy mm. to 2017. So it happened that uh, this company, it, it, it's uh, from one of the friends from my baby daddy. Okay. They are friends. The owner of this company and my baby daddy are friends. So this lady is still working here. So one time she asked me, oh, let's go out. We went to TRM and uh, she called my baby daddy. You know, there was that thing of, why did you leave me? Why did you do this? You know, for me, it was my first time to see him. This lady had to leave me there because it was almost morning. We, we, <laughs> we stayed up to morning. So this lady has to, had to leave me there. And then she went to the office to report where she had left me. So I got fired. <laughs> yes. And, she uh, set you up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's already setting her up. Yeah. So I got fired. I And that's where life started because... I became depressed and I started something called prostitution. And um, <laughs> it's not the prostitution that people go on the road, the, uh, the, ko- the koinange, the, yes. those things, no. What we used to do, there are people who have invested in um, Airbnbs. Okay. So they have connection with uh, rich men and ladies. Okay. So uh, I would send my photo there. And uh, when a man asks for a lady, uh, he'll be sent the photos. The one he's going to choose is the one he's going to get. Yeah. So it was nice because once it had privacy, no one would know. It was a flat, so even if you're going in, no one would know. So you can even go in with a long dress and then you change when you're there and then you come out. I did that for some time. I was introduced by a friend. And then this same friend, I used to say that uh, at the end of the night, she's getting more money than I could get. And uh, that's when I, I asked her, what, she, what is she doing that I'm not doing? You no, know, we are doing the same job. The hours are the same, but you can find her with that 1,000, 50,000 from one man. Mm-hmm. So that's when I was introduced to witchcraft. Yes, uh, because she told me there are powers which people use that um, when you get those powers, you can get any kind of money you want from a man. Okay. And uh, I became interested, you know. 
I asked her to take me to where they get those powers. And then she told me she can't give me because um, she can't share an altar. Like, because we are friends, she can't share. It's going to backfire on her. So I had to look for my own altar. Um, I went to internet, uh, there are posters all over. But she sent me to a friend who was using and then she stopped. So I was connected to one of them. And I went in Nairobi. I was given those um, uh, love potions. Okay. <laughs> yeah, wow. Uh, okay, love where did potions. you go in Nairobi? What, what did it look like? What? The, the place. Uh, it was just a, a one bedroom. So there's a sitting room where people sit, well, the waiting area, and then the bedroom is where the, the altar is. Um, it's not as scary as we see in Nigeria movies. It was just, for him, for his house, it wasn't that scary because uh, they just had uh, those whites and black and red uh, curtains. Okay. And then so many, those uh, spices. And for me, what uh, he did to me, Hey. Like spices, like, like <laughs> those are, ingredients, or like yes, those the ingredients. Containers. No, those are uh, uh, those Calabas. potions. Those are potions. No, okay. with uh, oh, no, they were with somewhere with papers, and uh, for the just on the on the ground. Yes, on the ground, and then for the those are traditional they're called calabash. Uh, calabash, yes. They were like uh, three or four. Three or four calabashes. Yes, and uh, for those that don't know, a calabash might be like it's shaped like this container on the ground. I mean, on the yeah. bottom, but at the top it has a bottleneck. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But okay. it's those ancient African ones, those uh, wooden. I think it's some kind of wood, something like that. Yeah, and then uh, they had uh, those, uh, you know, the traditional, you know, the Kikuyu traditional pots. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, the traditional pots, the ones they use for cooking. The, yeah. Oh. The one. Okay. Uh, the, the the one they make out of clay. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He yeah. had those, mm. and then um, jiko, jiko. The okay. The normal. Jiko. It's like a small stove, charcoal stove. Oh. Yeah. Okay. The okay. charcoal okay. one. Okay. So what he did when I entered, I was told to remove all the clothes. And then uh, on that uh, stove, he had to put some herbs, like a mixture of them. And then I was told to squat on it, mm. the, the smoke. Um, and then he had to cover me with the Maasai vessel. Okay. Yeah, so I had to inhale that. The it was smoke. a Kikuyu man? Or it's like it was the like, incense. What did he look like? And he's... Um, uh, the nini, the, what do we call them? Swahili. The Swahili yes. guy. Yes, and uh, it was Swahili and Kamba. So. Looking like the Muslims, kind of. Yeah, he was a Muslim. He was a Muslim. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, that is what I did. And then when you inhale that smoke, it's supposed to cleanse you. Mm. Like it's supposed to remove bad vibes. You know, it's supposed to make you uh, like uh, look like a gold. Yeah. Okay. It's supposed to make you get attract. Uh, you attract men. So after that, I was given now uh, uh, some powder to put on my lotion mm. and uh, another perfume, small perfume, the Indian one. You know, the small ones. Yes. Those ones I was given. But uh, when I was in that, uh, when I was in, uh, inhaling that smoke, I had to speak what I wanted. Mm -hmm. So I had to say what I want. Um, my name is Joy. They use the, the mutual name because they believe that is your name. Okay. So I had to use Wairimo. I want this when I go to work. I want to attract rich men. I want rich men to see me. I want them to give me what I want. No one would ever hurt me. You know, you speak what you want. And then uh, business was successful, I would say, because uh, it 
yeah, 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 they were working for me. So I continued with that. I was going there, I was using those things and I was getting money. So in that so time... So was working. You saw, a, you saw a clear difference between before and after. Yes. I would get money a lot. Like I would go with somebody and get around thirty thousand, forty thousand. Like so, okay. what happened? Okay, as soon as you left that, um, the shrine, In you had close to pay. To the mic. Yeah. No. You, it was. No, free. he he tells you, you go, you'll come back. Oh. Because you have to go back. And and keep paying him or. Yes. But uh, for the first time, I think it's to entice you to go back. Uh -huh. Yeah, so... So he did he not charge you the first time? No, he told me you just go. When you succeed, you'll come back. So, um, when I went back to business, it was good. I used to get money. I was to get... Uh, whatever I didn't get, now I'm getting higher. And that time, even if I would go to a club, I would go sit down... And then I would, somebody would spot me from afar and then they would leave the Atibo and come to me. Wow. Yes. So that's what, how I was operating. Okay, then are there situations when uh, you would want, you would fall in love with your clients and now you want to keep them? No. Okay. So uh, what uh, if you wanted them to come back? <laughs> because, because they are paying well. Uh, no, because it's business. Um you know, uh, he had given me rules. He mm -hmm. told me if I need uh, one person, a permanent person, mm -hmm. I go there mm -hmm. and then he'll give me for a permanent. But uh, for this one, they were just for tonight and then tomorrow, even if you meet me, you can't remember me. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how it was working. So now, because it was working for me, we had a relationship with him. Hmm. Uh, uh, we created a rapport, so we would with the, talk with, with this, yes, with, with that. <laughs> with, what do you call him? Uh, is he a the spirit, her spiritual oh. father? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was my altar. <laughs> yeah, hmm. so we had a relationship. That is, um, I would go clubbing, and then he would call me and tell me, the man who is who is sitting next to you has money. Okay. Yeah. The man you're going to meet is sick. That is the kind of a relationship we had. Like, mm. he would tell me, he would guide me. But um, the way he's guiding me, it's also the way he's knowing how much I'm earning. Mm. So the following day, he'll just call and tell me. Uh, they, they called them babus. Babu. Yeah. Babu means grandfather, which is the same way they're That's called Jaja. in Uganda, Jaja. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Grandfather. He would tell me, Babu, an attacker. So you would send like 10% off or more of what you've gotten. Uh -huh. Wow. 10%. Yes, Tithe. or more. <laughs> it was tight. <laughs> uh, for them, it's more than tight because you have to do it like uh, Tithe, almost often. daily. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we continued with him, and then it reached a time I told him, I just want one person now. And he told me, you just go find one man, and then come. Okay. I'll make him yours. And of course, you don't find a single guy who is loaded. Mm. So <laughs> you look for a married man. And whoever was, whoever that time, so many single guys are not loaded. <laughs> <laughs> it's the married men that are loaded. <laughs> There's yeah. a grace that comes with uh, marriage and provision that, yeah. 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 And that's what they're, that's what. I hope the, the single hunting. men are learning <laughs> and the married men are also learning. <laughs> yes. Because the married men are the target and yeah. the single men also need to marry so that they have that grace. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you know, a married man will give you more than a single guy. A married man is not so fully committed into you. So I'll be able to do my things, you know. So I found one, and uh, the instructions were I should sleep with him. And then um, I go back there. 
So sleeping with him is a covenant. Yeah, yes, a covenant because of the DNA. Yes. You know. So I had to sleep with him and then I went there. When I went there, he had to be checked. <laughs> you know. He had to be checked for what? <laughs> and how and what, did they and how did you get DNA? <laughs> DNA is uh, no, I didn't uh, sleeping with him is making sure you have um uh contact with him. Like you know I've slept with him without a condom. Okay. Yeah, so um uh, I have a covenant with him. Um, yeah. Yes. So when I go there to my altar, this covenant will speak on my yes. behalf. Yes. Okay. So I went there uh they check the family mm-hmm. they check the wife actually mostly they check the wife the kids if he has protected himself because even men protect themselves yeah you and mean, uh, from the shrine he could see everything that was going on in this man's home yes this babu could see his wife his children everything that was going on in the house actually they see to a level that they tell you this guy the wife is not even prayerful this guy mm. the mother is prayerful was you see wives don't pray for their husbands especially the husbands who have a social life like they go clubbing and drinking wives don't pray for them so it's very easy for a lady to catch that man mm. cuz that man is not even protected by anything He has no protection. Yeah. Yes. And some of them the mothers pray. The mothers pray. Yeah. But uh wives don't. Uh, and now I'm assuming you know at some instances you'll be told because I've taken several you'll be told this guy the mother is prayerful but the mother is dead. But she was so prayerful that she protected that the home. son. Yeah. You we could even take a pastor and when they check they say ah This is not easy to get. <laughs> <laughs> so they are checked how uh, they have protected their money because it's money you want. So if he has protected his money, you can't get his money. Um and then from there you're given those uh, herbs you can be given for putting in the tea, uh putting in the food and uh, putting on yourself. So it goes to stage uh, stages so first i was given uh the herbs to put on his tea and um you're told to prepare masala tea masala tangawizi you know that smell yeah because of this uh, com- uh, yes so he can't tell he can't, he can't tell taste. yeah uh you can also use it on a neck mm-hmm. he can't tell he can't tell so I give it to him and it worked. So it was nice. Uh-huh. <laughs> What do you mean it so worked? G- she gave it to the married <laughs> man. Started cleaving to you. Yes. And and, yeah. and doing whatever you demanded. Basically. Yeah, you see when I was there in that altar, I would speak what I want. Okay. okay. I would say uh my, my my name is Vairimo and I'm calling you Kamal to be my guy. I want to be your manager. I want to be your flower. I want you to go home and see your wife as nothing. I want you to take care of me. I want you to take care of any you say anything and whatever you're going to say it's going to work. 